Hey guys, Austin here, welcome to another Minecraft mod showcase, and once again guys, we are taking a look at the Like Next mobs, as you see, we're still reviewing it, because we are on part 3 of this mod, and if you don't know, we also have the other two parts on the channel, so if you want to check those out, that'd be cool as well, and um, yeah, if you guys are excited and want to see more Minecraft mod showcases like, so please hit that like button to show support, and let's get this started, so... Last time we reviewed the nether mobs, we had this giant behemoth creature that was terrorizing the land. But this time, we're taking a little bit um, nicer approach. We're reviewing the water mobs. And to this date, there's only four in Lycanike. So this is going to be, I want to say, a shorter one. But it still ha is chock full of content. So again, it's going to be a good one. So we open this to... Oh yeah, and as for the stage, I forgot to change it to like a water theme. So it's still like the... The nether brick thieves, so the demon stents, so just just don't pay any mind to that. But anyway, so we open the chest. We have four of them. We have the Selix, the Jangu, the Sephir, and the Strider. So we're gonna go in order from least powerful to most powerful. So first off, I'm gonna show off of the Sephix. And if you actually look in the water over here, you're probably gonna see a ton of them. It's basically this fish thing right here. It makes weird bubbly noises. And if we get a sword and actually kill it. As you can see, it only takes two hits from a sword to kill. It's pretty weak. It has about 10 health. And um, it drops Lapis Azuli and Raw Selix meat. So if we go into the chest here, you can actually use the Lapis Azuli. You know what you can use that for. The Raw Selix meat, you can, it says very sharp and bony. So if you cook this, you actually cook Selix meat, which is very refreshing. It actually gives you water breathing three for I forget how much time it is. And then if you turn that into... This you use basically a cooked Selix meat with a potato. You get lapis fish and, fish and chips. I don't know where the lapis comes from, but it says swim through the water with the grace of a Selix after eating this delicacy. I'm assuming you get like fast speed in the water. And the chips are often chunky fries rather than the crispy potato wafers. I don't know why it says that, but it does. Anyway, and also you can make this thing called a strider treat, which is basically the um Selix meat with the two bones. And I assume that involves the strider over here, but anyway. That is the Selix people. Next up, we have the Jangu. Now, this thing actually can spawn um, in any water area. So, like, if there's, like, a puddle of water next to your house, this thing will spawn at and try to kill you. So, this is the Jangu. And, actually, I see it's becoming nighttime, so let me make a day. This is the Jangu right here. As you can see, they, they're they they're pretty weird looking. They don't really have faces much. But if I go to kill one, let me just do that real quick. Two shots. It takes about three shots from a diamond sword, and it dies. On rare chance, it can drop its um, Jangu pulse charges, which I will basically show off now. Which basically it just shoots water, really, as you can see. And um, yeah, since they shoot water, they just spawn more of themselves, and it just gets all crazy and stuff. But yeah, these are the Jangus, the most notorious things. They're kind of like the um, oh, we have the cinders for the fire, and we have the um. The other things that come out of the grass, I haven't showed them off yet. These are like the water-themed ones of them. But yeah, they live in the they live in the ocean. And like every other mob in Lycanex, they have rare versions. Like the Selix right here, the the Keppel Selix. That's like the rare version of that one. And don't have a rare version of the Jangu available. But I believe it's called like a light Jangu or whatever. But anyway, other than using this to throw this pulse charge, you can also make the Aqua Pulse Scepter. It says low damage, charge up, applies penetration, and places water. And it does two attack damage when you're just attacking with it but anyway the recipe for this is you need two blaze rods surrounding it with aqua pulse charges so if we get this scepter if you actually as you can see hold it back all the way and let go it actually does fire these pulse charges and you can basically just use them just to fire normally so like if i want to kill that squid right there i can just fire it at the squid and yeah that's basically how it works and how it looks in my hand let me actually see looks pretty cool and if i swap it to the other hand still like that weird uh, like how you can just swap hands like this Ooh, what am i doing what am i doing okay Anyway, let me just get that back. Okay, so that is the Jangu. That Jangu? Yeah, Jangu. All right, next up we have the Sephir. Don't entirely know why he's in this category, and you'll see what I mean when I spawn him in, but he's like he's like a storm of the ocean. So if I spawn him in, as you can see, he kind of looks watery, but at the same time, he looks like an air version of what the Jangu is. But if I kill him... As you are about to see, he dropped nothing this time, but he has the ability to drop gunpowder and glowstone. And basically, this dude just, just flies around. Oh, we got a Keppel Zephyr, and I guess this is the, how you can explain the blue version. And yeah, these guys basically just fly around the world. They come with one of the events as well. Same with the Jengus. The Jengus and these Zephyrs can come with the events, which hasn't happened yet on here, I don't think. I don't think we've gotten this on any of the mod reviews of this, but um, yep, this is the Zephyr. And I wanted to say, this mod... 
is an update to 1.8, so I can't do it in the Lucky Block Challenge. But if I ever make a 1.9 version of the Lucky Block thing, if you're interested, you can comment down below saying I would love to fight these guys. Because this is like a ton of different mobs I can fight in the Lucky Block Challenge thing. But again, not 1.8, so I couldn't use all the Lucky Blocks, just the 1.9 version. Anyway, finally we have the Strider. And I'm just going to read the description. These giant amphibious fish-like creatures are, unusual, are usually found in large lakes or rivers. They are feared for their dreadful tentacles from which they ensnare their victims. So you're probably asking, what the heck is this thing? Well, this is the thing you've actually seen before in one of the other um, parts of this mod showcase. And I'm about to spawn him in. Guys, this is the Strider. Yeah, I know. Vicious, right? And I wouldn't say these things are like tentacles. They're more like legs. But if it's not in water, it actually does start drowning. But it has 100 health. So the thing's pretty incredible on its own. So I'm actually going to attempt to kill it as it's drowning. There we go. And oh, it actually dropped a third drop. I thought it could only drop the other two things. So it can drop raw fish. It can drop prismarine shards. So another way to get those. And it can actually drop puffer fish. If you don't know what the prismarine shards are for, you can actually use them to make the prismarine blocks and the sea lanterns and all that stuff but um yeah so he actually has three drops so he's got a good variety not as much as the um selix stuff you can do with but so again if you actually get those those strider treats you can actually feed it to this guy and he will actually become your servant let me see if i can get another drop out of him again i'm not using a looting sword but this is really how it'd be in that situation did he drop anything else he dropped normal fish normal puffer fish okay that seems to be all to his um, almighty power, the Strider. So he, he's not as big as that demon thing we had last episode, but but he's pretty huge compa in comparison. But um, yeah, guys, I think that's going to be it for this um this mod showcase part thing because we're still doing like a nice thing. There's still a ton more mobs to check out, and more like types. We still haven't done the desert ones yet. We haven't done the grass ones, like the the mock over there, as you can see. But like I said, guys, that will be the end of this mod showcase. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, please hit that like button to show your support. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more Minecraft mod content like so in the down for this mod. will be linked in the description. And please check out the other two parts as well. Um, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.